Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. And as usual, um, Luke is curled up asleep, and we can only hope that he'll come and visit, but this is really his nap time, so we'll see. In today's video, I am going to share with you guys a few tips on improving your legato playing. And um, for those of you who don't know, I have a Patreon. If you'd like to support my channel, you can join for as little as $3 a month. So I appreciate everybody who has been supporting my channel over the past year. It's been really great. So thank you all so much. Now, a lot of, a lot of us, um, we think legato and we... I don't know, we think maybe slurring, we think not tonguing, we think, I don't know what we think, but um, there's there's um, there's actually a lot of effort that goes into making legato sound really, really good. And um, one little thing can ruin um, some otherwise really excellent technique. And so uh, the first thing we have to do is define what legato is. And um, legato, literally just means smooth and connected. You want everything to just flow together, be very smooth and very connected, just like the opening to WC. And <clears throat> part of what goes into making legato really good, I, it, it's two two really big things, right? So, so one part is how you use your air, and the other part is how we use our fingers, right? And so the first part of this is just coaching you through um, breathing and, and really getting a nice, beautiful, projected sound. So as usual, I'm going to say, make sure you're relaxed before you breathe in. And when you go to take a big breath in, breathe in with a nice, open, relaxed syllable. So imagine your favorite tuba player and how they breathe in. And it's like they turn into a big vacuum and you can see everything just filling up from the bottom up. Clarinet players, we're wimpy breathers and we tend to take shallow breaths and we tend to support with our upper chest and that just doesn't work very well, right? So think about taking your biggest, deepest tube breath. And then when you actually go to play, imagine your air is doing nothing but playing a whole note. And to play really excellent legato, all you do is glide your fingers from note to note over that un interrupted flow of air. Now you can shape your air up and down with your phrases or if you decide you want to shape your notes a little more or a little less, that's okay. But you never want your air to actually stop or slow down to the point where it sounds like you're kind of puffing the air out or doing that kind of wah, wah, wah phrasing that clarinet players for whatever reason love to do, right? So think of using whole note air and using your air to carry your sound through the entire phrase and using your air to phrase through the entire passage. So your air is in charge and your fingers are just gliding over that column that is going through your instrument uninterrupted. And and the other part of that is, you know, if you're having trouble, just imagine blowing through your clarinet. I know it sounds obvious, but a lot of us, when we blow, we think about blowing to the mouthpiece and we end up just blowing that much air, right? But if you imagine blowing through the clarinet all the way out, then all of your legato playing will become so much more beautiful and effortless and it will project so much better. And now the other part of playing really excellent legato is how you use your fingers. And I have so much respect for woodwind players like saxophonists and bass clarinetists who have those big clunky platform keys. I have so much respect for really excellent players who can make their legato just sound so easy and effortless and fluid and you, you can't hear any of the clunking. It's incredible. It's amazing. And so um, clarinet players, man, we have it. We have it easy. We have all these open, open tone holes. Um, the, the big um, problem 
here is mainly, I think, in the pinky keys, at least on my instrument, they can be a little bit noisy, right? So um, having, having um, a less than delicate touch with the fingers can ruin an otherwise beautiful legato line. And yes, yes, I mean, you can like slam your fingers down on the tone holes and pop them up so fast that you can hear it. But I think the pinky keys tend to be the most obvious um, issues with with legato playing um, and so my suggestion um, is to think about using legato fingers when you use legato air so legato fingers can come in a couple of different ways right so one is to literally move your fingers a little bit more slowly and a little more delicately as if as if you're squeezing silly putty or letting go of, or a stress ball, you know, squeezing into a stress ball and letting go. So if you do that and then you won't slap your fingers down so much and make so much noise. The next part of uh, playing with really excellent legato fingers could also be keeping your fingers close to the keys. If you have to travel further, you're gonna, likely hit the keys a lot harder as well. So um, there, are two, there are two schools of thought, thought, right? If you use legato fingers, you can kind of move them a little slower if you take them further away from the keys. And that certainly helps me in some ways. Um, but the other part is if you just keep your fingers close right away, they don't have as far to go and you can slow the um, the pressing of your fingers against the keys a little bit more um, fluidly and you can, my hair just got stuck, and you can control that, that motion a little bit better. Okay, so that is, that is the lesson for today, right? So when we're trying to play legato, just play with very smooth, uninterrupted air blowing through the clarinet and combine that with legato fingers slow motion fingers keeping them close to the keys okay so let me know if you guys have any extra tips you want to add to this because i know folks come here looking for answers and i love when you guys share your ideas as well so thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful week a good rest of your weekend Wait, I got those in reverse. Well, anyway, you know what I'm saying. I, I, I thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy practicing.